So now that you have your plugin ready, how do you get it on your app? Once you finish developing your plugin in the plugin tester, you probably have a file structure similar to this. You probably have your SDK plugins folder. Within your plugins folder, you have your multiple plugins. If you develop within my plugin, that's fine. Uh, just one thing you want to make sure before you actually submit your plugin is to double check all the information in plugin.json. Now, when you open that, it looks something like this. This is where you can change the author's name, the plugin name, the description. Um, support email, uh, all the settings that you have for your plugin, uh, any additional features you need uh, from GPS to audio or anything else that you need, uh, the languages you support, um, so that all this information carries through uh, into the control panel. One other thing you want to check for is if you go into the resources folder, here there's two images. Uh, one is the icon, which is the default icon that you see here, or if you go into add a plugin, that icon. There's also the marketing icon that shows up sometimes, which is the image icon. You want to make sure that those are suitable for your plugin before you actually submit it. Once you have everything prepped and ready to go, uh, you want to go to your plugin folder that's within your Buildfire SDK plugins and then whichever folder you want to submit. If you, for example, develop within my plugin, that's fine. You can right click and compress or zip. If you're on a Windows machine, Linux machine, or Mac, it should all work. Just right click and zip it or use any of the multiple zipping tools that are out there to zip it in your standard uh, format. Then what you want to do is you want to log into dev.buildfire.com and hopefully you've registered uh, when you first got your uh, environment set up. If not, you can go register for free um, once you're in here, all you have to do is just click upload and then find the folder that you're looking for. SDK plugins myplugin.zip. You'll see this upload once it's ready to go. You should be able to find your plugin right here. Now this sorts alphabetically, uh, so you want to make sure that if it doesn't show up on top that you can find it elsewhere. Um, but there it is. Now it's in your developer portal. Now, when you were when you first registered your developer portal, you were issued a test application. That's the app ID that you see up here. Now, uh, if you go into the control panel, make sure if you have multiple apps that you're on your test app. When you go into your test app, you can go into plugins, add a plugin now, and now you should be able to see your plugins. We'll have another video on how to issue licenses for your plugins later on, but for now, once you have the plugin here, you can hit add, give it a name, and now it's ready for use. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please, please leave it below or send us uh, an email at devsupport at buildfire.com.